Today we will be discussing one of the many features available within Protege GX, function codes. Function codes enable you to program a single digit key press plus credential sequence, either card, pin or biometric, that is used to perform a specific function from a TSEC reader. In this scenario, I will be showing you how to configure a function code that latch unlocks all internal doors and disarms all relevant areas. If we navigate to Sites Function Codes and create a name that is equivalent to the function that we are adding. As you can see, I have labelled mine Cleaners Unlock Latch All Doors Function Code. Secondly, we want to select a specific digit that is going to allow this function to occur. Now if you're utilising the latest firmware and hardware in the Protege range, you will notice that we now have RGB LEDs, which then gives us a range of functionality colours that we can then produce during this function code. Once you've selected the colours, we can then add each individual specific action per door. Now obviously this is done at each individual door because each door can have a different action all the way through this particular function code. So if you have multiple doors wanting to create the same function you must add them independently. Keeping in mind you may want to leave off any specific higher security door such as the server room door and likewise there you'll notice that I've also left off the main entry door being that cleaners may not want the front door of the building unlocked whilst they are internally cleaning. So this also then allows the building to remain secure at all times. Once you've completed and added all of the functionality within the doors that you're wanting to unlock latch. Secondly, you might want to add what areas that also require disarming at the same time as the cleaners are gaining entrance to the building. So what we're going to do here is also add a specific area which is then going to allow our reception area to be disarmed on the way through and then likewise our open plan office area to be disarmed at the same time. Once you've selected that, we can then select save. Once completed, what we now need to do is assign this particular function code to one of the doors within the building to allow this function to work. So if you navigate to programming doors, select one of the doors, we're actually going to use this on our main entry door. So under main entry door programming, if we navigate to function code, we can then add the specific function code we have just created by selecting it and clicking OK and choosing which side of the door has the physical reader with the pin code available to it. Once done, we can then select save and go through to physically testing this particular feature. I have created a status page that enables me to view the function code operating in real time using a graphical floor plan. Now using a cleaner's access card and PIN number, I can test this function. First I must enter the function code followed by my credentials to authorise this function code. As you can see from the floor plan, all relevant doors have been latched unlocked and all areas have been disarmed. Using a similar method, I have also created another function code to re-lock the doors and arm the entire building upon leaving. 